This one has a few more guns than the last one because this is uh, actually a modification of one I downloaded off of the Steam Workshop. Now, I went ahead and changed things because it suits my playstyle to make the change I did. And uh, what was that? Well, it was changing these cannons to proper cannons rather than the minigun cannons. Now, why in the world would I want to do that when I have perfectly functioning minigun cannons when you grab it off the workshop? Because then I can aim myself. Here, let me try one more as I'm aiming. And then I can do something like this. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, the minigun cannons don't work all that well in first person perspective. So that's why I'm doing this, because this is just awesome. It's just like raining death on that whatever that used to be a house thing. And uh, apparently we need to make a hard turn here. And you know what? Here, let's just rain some more death over there-ish, kind of. Um, yeah, that, that, that actually didn't work out well. How about that? Yeah, that one looked pretty good. Let's try that again. Rain death and destruction. Oh, holy cow. <laughs> I was moving the boat there, so it was uh, it was going a little crazy. Now, that was, is something that I didn't show you in the last couple episodes, so if you've seen other videos, then you probably know you can do this. And if you have not, well, here you go. I am in first-person mode. Now, it should be stated that I'm in first-person mode insofar as I'm actually looking at what one of the cannons sees. So we're actually looking at things from the perspective of a cannon. And uh, there you go. I, I totally screwed that one up, but that one can't hit me from here, so... I don't really care. Take that, you stupid gun emplacement. We'll go and kick out a first person so we can watch as that gloriously explodes on its own over there. Yeah, so basically, if you want to go into first person mode, you basically can just click on one of your cannons, and then it'll give you the first person view of said cannon. So we can go back to first person, and again, we should be able to fire at whatever this wreckage or something is over here. I don't know. We might actually be hitting the, the edge of the map or something here. I'm not quite sure. Water is quite green over here. Oh, that that actually was right over that. That was a heck of a shot there. There we go. I, 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 yeah, I, oops. I, wow. That was me. Sorry. I, I just made the game burp. That was my bad. That's funny. This, um, oh, my, my ship is falling apart here. Let's, let's rebuild a new one. There we go. That way we can uh, presumably get back into waters we're allowed to be in, I think. Um, nope, my rudders are falling off. This is not good. Not good. I I'm losing them on the reef. Uh, all right, let's try it again. There we go. I, I lost my rudders on the reef there. Oh, we're going to catch air in this thing? I hope not, because this one's really not made for flying. No siree. This is not a made-for flying ship. Wow, there's some... Um, oh, that was something bad that I hit and my ship just fell apart. Badly, look at that. Explosions galore. Gotta love it. All right, so can we get going again? I'd like to, um, cat. Sorry, I got, a, I got a cat I'm trying to corral right now and that actually makes life difficult for me. Believe it or not, when you have a cat that's really being obnoxious, it, it kind of makes things difficult. So we switch to our, um, well, I don't, I don't want to do that here. Come on. Wow, I, I just managed to spin completely in a circle without meaning to do it. All right, how about this? We'll go slow at it. And slowly turn around to the left. And we're going to turn eventually here and it'll be all good. Keep going. Keep going. And then we'll go ahead and stop. And theoretically now, here we go. Should be able to grab one of these cannons. Let's just give it a test shot. That looked marvelous. And there we go. Should be able to just blast that thing to smithereens. Take that, you dumb house. That's right. We just rocked the crap out of that house. And in the Battle Seas mode, using this ridiculously overpowered ship, which, um, well, is probably going to shoot pirate Knut Burnauf way out of the water. I mean, I don't, I don't actually have a, hmm. I don't have a telescope on this thing. That's fine. We don't need it. We can see that there's a pirate ship coming in right there, and I think I can probably light this guy up pretty quickly here. 
I have no idea what happened. There we go. There we go. Kablamo. Bye bye, Knut. Knut just got rocked. Or someone did. I don't know. Oh, excuse me. Did I, did I lose anything? I don't think I lost anything, and yet most of my ship is underwater. It's pretty funny. When I was modifying this thing to put it back together so that I could kind of, uh, you know, have a bunch of cannons straight up front for me, because uh, I wanted standard cannons rather than a bunch of minigun cannons, the game told me that I better have one beefy machine to play this. Um, yeah, no problem there. I got all the beef you want and then some more, because... Uh, I somehow doubt this thing is using all of my cores or even all of my video card, even though I know I don't have a top-of-the-line video card anymore. At least not the top-of-the-line, but, you know, whatever. It's all good. I think we can probably rock this pirate ship here, too. Maybe? There we go. Bye-bye, ship. And we'll just go excessively firing... Additional cannons because, you know, we need more. Oh, we actually lost a blade. That kind of stinks. I wonder if that's going to affect our steering at all. Just because now it's, uh, you know, weighed differently. How many ships are there? Oh, there's one over there. Let's go ahead and go grab that one. We've been spotted by another pirate ship. Took me a little while to close the distance, but close it I did. And just for giggles, I'm actually using... <laughs> I'm kind of spraying just cannons everywhere here using the more standard firing method of not aiming. And uh, having varying success, I must say. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm trying to back up so I can hit this guy. All right. Enough of that madness. Let's just light him up with some aimed shots because uh, those are far more, far more better. -er. And we need to we need to move things around. There we go. That was a direct hit. I, I can't actually see what is going on here. I think I lost a cannon. Let's see, if I can turn around a little, that would be helpful. All right, yep, 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 yep. Nope, 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 nope. Keep turning, keep turning. Either that or uh, go forward. That might work too, and then we can turn some more and we might be able to hit this guy with a blade. That would be nice. Oh, direct hit with single cannon. Oh, we're going to land on it. Take that. <laughs> Ah, that is good stuff right there. It's not as good as flying, but it's pretty darn good. Oh, look at that. I think I am flying, actually. I'm zooming around a little bit here. Aha, take that. I don't care that my boat is not even in the water. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I lost battle number six because my boat ended up upside down. My ship, my ship, my, my poor ship. I have learned you need to just kind of gradually build up speed, and then you can kind of have fun and kick it into high. So if you don't do that, if you just kind of go straight into high, you end up uh, launching your ship, which is a lot of fun on the one hand, but severely disappointing on the other when you're actually trying to kill stuff, because, uh, you know, it's not really the best way to go about it. Yep, that wasn't even close. I didn't think it would be, but, you know, I thought, ah, eh, what the heck? It's worth a shot. Get it? Da -dun -dun -da 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 -da. Hey, I'm here all day. I think that might be my wreckage from, uh, well, dumping my ship upside down, because that went oh so well here. Can I get rid of this guy? I really do like watching those cannons just, or those uh, cannonballs just stream out. I know, I could have, you know, stuck with the minigun and we could just totally rain death on this guy by doing the just minigun dance. But, you know, like I said, it, it's, um, I kind of like these ones. They're a lot of fun. And then, you know, I can aim and get the whole bank of cannons firing at that guy. So that's, that's a kick. I, I rather enjoy that. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Look at that. I actually tagged him with that one. Oh, and you are toast. Look at that. I have... One battle six, even though I'm pretty sure my boat is about to uh, explode or something because uh, I'm just doing circles now. But that's okay. Circles are good. Everyone likes circles. And um, I have a lot of cannons I can fire. So, so there. 
Ah, that doesn't do any good at all, but it sure looks hilarious. Ta-da-da-da-da-da-da-da! Catch you on another one. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.